Hello, this is Chris at Body Imbalance and also Deep Blood Pressure. And I'm doing a series of videos on the brain gut connection, already done that one, um, the brain fat connection, um, which I will be doing. And I'm also going to be doing the liver sleep brain connection, which is fascinating. And today, the muscle brain connection. Now, you may already know, you may already know that exercise is good for you and it's good for the brain because it decreases mood, um, it's great for decreasing depression, and people who exercise on a regular basis have decreased cancers, decreased mental decline, all sorts of things. Um, and there's a number of reasons why. And it's, I was reading an article recently and it, just, it went into more detail about all the connections between muscles and the brain, as well as brain to the muscle. Because like, when you, when you think of moving a muscle, I mean, the process starts sort of here, to move this side um, and then there's coordination centers there's all kinds of wonderful things and movement itself especially movement of the spine actually creates electric electrical sparks not quite electrical, but but literally creates a massive input into the brain to keep it awake you may have noticed if you're sitting down all day you can feel very fatigued but you can be out walking all day long and you can feel mentally alert and alive at the end of it it's because movement literally does feed the brain electricity, like a dynamo, basically. But there are other things going on with your muscles. Every time you contract a muscle, little signaling molecules, chemicals called myokines, are released from your muscle every time you contract. And these myokines have all kinds of different um, messages, basically, that they're sending the body. And every time you contract a muscle, you're basically going to decrease um, your chances of getting diabetes because these myokines actually tell your cells to remain sensitive to insulin. So that means you're going to let sugar into your cells as opposed to keeping it in the blood. Um, and it also signals to your brain. And one of the things that happens is your brain makes a, a peptide, a neuropeptide, also a myokine as it turns out, called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And so it's basically it's a chemical that was obviously first identified in the brain because it said brain-derived. Um, and it's basically, it helps keep your brain and your nerves alive and healthy, protecting them from damage. But your muscles, every time you contract a muscle, your muscle also secretes a myokine called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Now in muscles, it has a different effect than in the brain. In muscles, it actually helps the muscles stay as they are. But also, it seems to also have a beneficial effect on the brain and the nerves as well. So if you want to build your brain, build your muscles. Also, very important, and I'll just put this in even though it's not brain muscle connection. One of the best ways to tell whether or not you're, when you're about 70 years old, so you may not be 70 yet, when you're about 70 years old, one of the best ways to determine whether you are still gonna be alive in another 10 years is how much muscle mass you have. That muscle mass is more of a predictor of your health um, when you're 70 than things like blood pressure, cholesterol, and all the things that doctors check. Um, whereas muscle mass, actually going out and exercising is far more of a predictor than anything else. So it's really important to keep strong and do things to get the muscles working because not only is it going to keep you alive, it's going to keep your brain alive and working as well. So if you found that helpful, then maybe go and check out the gut brain connection as well and stay tuned for the fat brain connection as well. And then of course the liver sleep brain connection. So go out and exercise your muscles because it is about, I think it's 40% of your body mass is, is um, 40% uh, of your lean, no, 40% of your tissues is, is, is muscle, not of your body weight, but of your tissues is muscle. So we've got a lot of it, it's an endocrine organ, muscles actually secrete all kinds of things that help your body run smoothly and properly. So go get some muscle. As ever, live long and prosper with magnificent health.